In this video, I'm going to teach you guys the best places and the best times to cleanse against plague in Dead by Daylight. Knowing when to cleanse against a plague is crucial, because she has one of the strongest powers in the game. If you give it to her too much, a good plague will take advantage of that and snowball the game really quickly. The first thing that comes into the decision to cleanse against a plague is the map that you're playing on. If you're playing on a map like Larry's or the Meat Plant, I would say it's almost always okay to cleanse. It's going to be easy to break line of sight on the map and plague's power won't be as effective. However, if you're on a map like Blood Lodge, her power will be a lot stronger. Now on these outdoor maps like Blood Lodge, I would try not to cleanse for as long as possible, but if your teammates are cleansing and the plague always has her power, then I would just say screw it and cleanse as well. The only time where I would actually go out of my way to cleanse is when I am on death hook. If I've been hooked twice, I would cleanse to get that extra health state. However, if I'm going to cleanse, I will do my best to choose a fountain that is far in the corner of the map, away from the hook, away from the gens, because the plague would have to go all the way over there to pick up her power. 